Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you the best way to very, very easily secure sonar, radar, prowler, and some of these other applications you might be using to make an automated media server. Now, some people might recommend putting all these things behind a VPN, but some uh, apps like Prowler specifically say that this can cause issues. I am planning on making videos about how to kind of secure all this stuff within containers and stuff like that. Um, but even then, a lot of times you still want to use a proxy, um, even if you are using a VPN. The proxy won't really add any speed degradation um, because it's just anonymizing and kind of scrambling your IP. So you can still use VPNs as well. However, by using a proxy, in a lot of ways, you kind of don't need to use a VPN with some of these devices. Um, you can also use the proxy within your Qubit Torrent application, and I'll be showing that here in this video as well. So guys, what are we gonna do first? Well, you're gonna want a proxy, and my preferred proxy provider is TorGuard VPN, a well-renowned uh, VPN provider that also gives you proxy access. It's actually top rated here on my channel in terms of the, the affordability, the speeds, and just uh, simply what it offers. You could get the anonymous VPN package depending on the different time you want, and if you use if you use code TomSpark2023, as you can see here, you'll get 50% off. So you could get access to their basic SOX5 proxy with an anonymous VPN plan. Um, it'll be $5 a month, $30 a year, or $70 for three years. So you are gonna need this um, to sign up uh, with to get a proxy, and that's what we're gonna be using in these other devices. Um, pretty much once you do that, you'll just copy your, your email and your login information from TorGuard VPN, and that's how we're gonna verify the SOX5 proxy. So probably the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Qubit Torrent. This is my recommended torrent um, application that you will use. Um, you could put this in containers, servers, it's very versatile. And the good thing is it has native proxy support, which means it's one of the best ones to use. Pretty much what you're gonna do is go to connection, go to proxy server, type um, select sx 5 proxy, host proxy.torguard.org, port 1080, and then click all these check marks, enter in your username and password to log into TorGuard VPN. Like I said before, click apply, and there you go. Anytime you'll download something, your IP will be anonymized and no one will be able to link that activity back to you. So this will anonymize your torrent traffic already. Now let's discuss how to do it in something like radar, sonar, and some of these other uh, things that will you, you will be using. Additionally, for something like Prowler, you can also use um, this same method because it craw kind of crawls around and you don't want your public IP leaking out. So it's good to anonymize it with the proxy. Pretty much what you're gonna do with all these applications, whether that be sonar, radar, they all kind of function the same as essentially. You go to general, scroll down and click use proxy. Enter in SOX5 proxy type, host name proxy.torguard.org, port 1080, and then username and password. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to save at the top, um, right up here, and you'll do the same thing with Sonar, as well as um, Prowler if you want to as well. It does say that, uh, to be clear, it is not a matter if VPNs will cause issues, but when the image providers will block you and if Cloudflare is in front of most AR servers and Live will block you too. Many private trackers will also ban you for the using them via VPN. So that's also something to think about, but I don't think you'll have any issues with this SOX5 proxy method. Anyways, guys, I hope that helped you. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below if you're gonna use proxy. Um, TorGuard is my recommended one, but of course you could find other ones and I've rated pretty much every VPN on vpntierlist.com too. So if you're not interested in TorGuard, there are also some other ones that are a little bit more expensive, but also decent for proxies too. So make sure to check out all the other reviews and check out my Discord server as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking this one out and I'll see you again very soon.